guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to bake feta five different ways. You can bake feta in the traditional way and that is in foil, but I like to bake it just in these little dishes because I feel that way when they're exposed in the oven, they come out really nice and crispy too. I'm gonna to jump straight on into this video. I hope you like it and thanks so much for watching. So for your first baked feta, you're going to go in with a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil. You also want to squeeze on half a lemon juice, cut up some olives and throw those on top and then finally finish it off with some rosemary. Next up, you're going to make your feta nice and sweet. So I start off by adding on some honey and then I just follow it up with a little bit of rosemary too. For your third baked feta, you want to go in again with some really good extra virgin olive oil, a generous amount of sliced red onion, some chili flakes, some oregano, and also some sun-dried tomatoes too. For this next baked feta, we are going to make it nice and crispy. So to do that, you want to start off by beating an egg and then rolling your feta in your egg. You then want to follow it up by rolling it in some flour, back into the egg, and then finish it off by covering it completely with some sesame seeds. For your last baked feta, and this is my favorite one, you're going to want to cover your feta again with some really good extra virgin olive oil. You then want to get a tin of chopped tomatoes and just place your chopped tomatoes around the edge of your feta. Go in again with some finely sliced red onion. Also crush in three garlic cloves, add on some oregano and finally finish it off with some olives. You want to bake all of your fetters on 200 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just check on them after 10 minutes and once they have started to crispen up on the sides and gone nice and soft in the middle, they are then ready to take out and serve up. Our favorite way of eating these is just with some crackers, but they go really, really good as barbecue sides too. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.